Hey everyone, what's going on? I'm back with another video, and today we're talking about waterproofing and dustproofing in phones and other various tech. Now, today's video is gonna be a little bit more of an explanation of a lot of things as opposed to like a product video, but that's fine. Just know that this is really important stuff if you're looking for a waterproof or a dustproof phone. So a lot of companies out there say that their tech is waterproof or dustproof, but what does that mean? mean exactly? Will my phone be okay if I accidentally drop it in a puddle or say lose it in the ocean for 30 minutes? Or maybe even if somebody splashes me with a hose? Your phone could protect against each of these individual situations, but not all of them, and still be considered waterproof. But you probably can't drop it in a pool, even though it's still called and considered waterproof because it protects from splashes. This is what IP certification helps to clarify in waterproofing and dustproofing and the different levels of each. I'm certain you've heard of IP certification before. In fact, iPhones, Google phones, and Samsung phones all have IP68 certification. But what the heck do all these numbers and letters even mean? Let me explain it to you. IP stands for ingress protection. Ingress stands for something that's trying to get in, say somebody who's trying to walk in your front door. And protection is the door trying to stop it from getting in. An ingress protection code is the standard at which electronics are rated based on how well they can protect against water and dust. How likely is it to protect against dust? And how likely is it to protect against water? Basically, there's different levels of waterproofing and dustproofing in electronics, and this code and certification aims to break it down into easily discernible categories. Now, if you've seen most phones and tech recently, then you would have heard something along the lines of IP certification or IPX4 water resistance. But what does that mean? Let's break it down and use IP68 as our example. Of course, by this point, you already know what IP stands for. So we're going to talk about the two separate digits here. It's not one number, it's two separate digits. This first digit represents solid particle protection, aka something like dust. And the second digit represents liquid protection, obviously water. And each of these individual digits have numbers to represent how protected it is against these things. I know it's a lot of information, but don't worry, we're going to break it down into two separate parts. And there's also other supplementary letters and numbers, but we're not going to be talking about those. We're just going to be talking about the two separate digits. The first digit represents solid particle protection, and that's rated on a scale of zero to six. Zero being no protection and six offering the most protection. There's also X, which represents the fact that not enough data has been collected in order to draw a conclusion. Each of the different numbers, one through six, represents how well protected it is against different size particles, starting with one, which is protection against anything larger than two inches, which is described as protection against any large surface of the body, but not deliberate contact with the body part. So normally if you just have your hands out and about, you shouldn't be able to fit it inside of a rated one object, unless you really forced it. Two, which protects against things that are larger than half of an inch, maybe fingers or other similar objects. Three, which protects against anything larger than 0 0.098 inches, most tools or thick wires, for example. Four, which protects against things larger than 0 0.039 inches, basically small wires or screws. Okay, so most of the time on phones, you're probably never gonna get anything rated lower than a five, but I figured I should tell you just so you know. Five means dust protected. It doesn't entirely prevent dust from entering the electronic, but the amount of dust that does enter this electronic isn't substantial enough of an amount to cause it harm to the electronic itself. So if something does have an IP5X whatever rating, you don't have to worry about dust getting in and ruining how the device performs. Six means dust tight, and that's actually what most phones are right now anyway. Zero dust, complete protection. Knowing this, you can have something that's now rated IP1X or IP4X or IP6X since now we know what the first digit represents. Of course, since we're only talking about dust, we're only talking about the first digit. Now with the second digit, it represents liquid protection, or in our case, water. It's a little bit more complicated this time because it goes from zero 
to 9. And there's still x, which represents not enough data being collected in order to draw a conclusion, but that's fine. Let's break it all down. 1 protects against dripping water, say, like a light rain. 2 protects against dripping water when tilted at a 15 degree angle. Now what that means to me is you can have a little bit of a heavier rain and your phone out and you could be texting at a 15 degree angle and you wouldn't necessarily have to worry about it getting ruined. Three protects against spraying water. So for example, if you're walking out and about and a sprinkler turns on, splashes you and you run quickly out of the water, you'll be fine. Four protects against splashing water. You're walking down the street, car drives by, hits a puddle, you get splashed, that should be fine. Five is protection against water jets. You're walking down the street and you accidentally step on your neighbor's lawn and they get really mad at you and spray you with the hose. You should be fine. Six is protection against powerful water jets. Again, you step on your neighbor's lawn and this time he's really mad at you so he has a more powerful jet and he sprays you with that. It's the same thing except with just stronger water jets. At this point, you're having a really, really bad day. You're walking, you get splashed, you get sprayed, you get just everything thrown at you with water. But here on out is where we can really trust the waterproofing. Seven protects against immersion up to one meter for 30 minutes. You go swimming and you accidentally drop your phone in the shallow end of the pool and you decide not to pick it up for maybe 30 minutes. It'll still be fine. Again, moving on up, eight protects from immersion beyond one meter this time. This is actually what most phones are using right now at this current moment in time. The only thing is that the amount of time it can be submerged is just dependent on how long the manufacturer has tested it for. Whereas water certification of seven can stay for 30 minutes, that's a standard. Water certification for N8 doesn't really have that standard at the moment and is just determined by the device manufacturer. I'd like to say your phone would survive for 30 minutes at the deep end of the pool, but that duration honestly just depends on how long the manufacturers tested it for themselves. And top tier is 9K, which protects against powerful high temperature water jets. This is the pinnacle of protection. It's super rare to have a phone that's IP69K certified. Most phones don't have it. iPhones don't have it. Google Pixel doesn't have it. Samsung doesn't have it. There are some phones that do have it, but again, it's super rare. Maybe someday we'll get it, but it's probably too expensive for most phone companies to produce and most consumers to buy. And it's such a very niche thing right now at the moment anyway. I know it's a lot of information, but let me give you some examples to help process all of this. The iPhone 11 Pro, the Google Pixel 4, and the Samsung Galaxy S20 all have an IP68 certification, which is really good. These phones are dust tight and protect from immersion beyond one meters for about 30 minutes. Both AirPod Pros and Google Pixel Buds are IPX4 certified. This means they'll protect against some sweat and water, but should not be worn in a pool. And there's not enough data on dust collection to classify it, so that's why it's rated as an X. And that's basically what IP certification is when something says it's dustproof or waterproof. Hopefully you were able to learn something from this. I know for experts, I didn't go over every single detail about every single tier, but for an average consumer like myself, I think that's enough information to get by. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, leave down in the comments below what your thoughts are. Shout out to my patron Oki, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.